Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to have a quick review of a brand new horror movie that just came out in 2022 and has easily became one of my favorites from this past year. So without further ado, make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave me a like down below, and comment on what you think about The Pale Blue Eye. The Pale Blue Eye was directed by Scott Cooper and came out in 2022 and stars Christian Bell and it is such an awesome atmospheric gothic horror movie that you must see. The story follows Christian Bell who plays a detective and investigates a murder at the famous West Point Academy, the military academy of course, but he is offered help and basically helped him crack the case by Edgar Allan Poe, yes, the famous horror uh, poetry novel writer that we all know and love, who pretty much kind of helped shape the genre from the beginning. Of course, with him leading to discover a murder that happened on the campus of West Point Academy, that means there's a lot of mystery in this movie and I do not want to spoil it for you guys because I really want you to go check this one out. So I'll be telling you reasons why I love the film and just some really awesome things about Christian it. Christian Bell's detective character is amazing. Augustus Landor and of course Harry Melling who plays Edgar Allan Poe by the way, he looks just like Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, it's kind of pretty shocking on how similar they look, but uh, they both do an amazing job in this film and they really elevate it to another level, I think. And quite honestly, this is probably one of my favorite Christian Bell performances of all time. And you know, he's an amazing actor. Because it's a murder mystery that leads us to a bunch of obviously mysteries and plot twists throughout the story along with different love interests. I also really like how they portray West Point Academy. It looks exactly like how it would have at the time. Now as I've mentioned before, it is very macabre, very dark, very eerie, very suspenseful, and it keeps you on the edge of your seat the entire time while you're watching it. At least for me, it did. Now, the supporting actors are great. I really love the scenery and how this entire movie was shot. So props to Scott Cooper for doing an amazing job. And like I said, there are also some occult and, you know, devilish things about the movie that we learn as well, which really adds to the factor of why it's so good. As we become closer to cracking the case from Christian Bell and the help of Edgar Allan Poe, they establish a really cool relationship that I was not expecting, but it turned out very cool. Edgar Allan Poe does a great job at helping Augustus Landor in cracking down this case, and their relationship that they form is really cool as well. But like I said as well, I do not want to give away the main details that pretty much sum up the story and... It can leave you thinking. It's an awesome movie, so go check it out for yourself. As I said before, it's on Netflix, so go watch it and let me know what you think down in the comments below. Now, since The Pale Blue Eye came out late into 2022, uh, late December to be exact, many people may not have seen this or even include it in their top 10 horror movies from 2022 but for me personally it is great and it definitely makes my list but as always thank you guys so much for watching this new review of the pale blue eye and let me know what movies you want to see me review next i really appreciate you guys support and let me know what videos you want to see next overall so yeah thank you all for watching i'll catch you in the next one peace